So over the last two or three years since doing like my first Monroe on a bike, I've managed to do quite a few now, maybe about 20 I guess at this point. And uh, from each one of them I've come to realise that there are two mountains that really really stand out. They give you a really good reference of where you are and then where all the other mountains will be in relation to them. Those two mountains are Ben Moore and Stob Binion. They're right above uh, Crane Larrick, which is a little village, uh, not a million miles away from where I live actually, and I pass this all the time. And yeah, just seeing these two Monroes from all the other Monroes I've been up, uh, they're just so prominent and I've always wanted to do them. However, I've always known that Ben Moore is definitely not very good for mountain biking. Most recently uh, cemented that idea by watching Scotty Lachlan try it and he said he probably wouldn't do it again. However, there's a path that goes up to the shoulder between them and then you can do Stob Binion uh, on its own or maybe I can do the backside of Benmore. So I'm hoping that there'll be something quite rideable in amongst it, avoiding going down the face. So this is all completely new to me. We're going up the glen. I believe the crags on the left there are probably part of uh, Stub Binion. And uh, yeah, we're from the road, it's 1.8 miles up this road, up this dirt track, to get to the start of the climb. And uh, the whole time we're traversing alongside the Ben Moore Burn, which is uh, quite aptly named. Only about 15 minutes since I last seen you, and uh, I am cooking. It's. Uh, it must be already about 25, 26 degrees. Easily the hottest day so far. Right, the Drover's Road has ended. There's no clear path. Uh, there is this. And uh, looking at my watch, looks about right. So, <clears throat> oh yeah. I don't think it's going to be uh, very defined. So it was a legit path right enough, but not a very established one and uh, a bit loose uh, and very steep. Uh, I'm not sure I overly feel like I'm going to go back down that way, but we'll, uh, we do have a few options, but it didn't look fantastic. However, the views are starting to get real good. Um, but also, it's looking more and more thundery, but I think we're going to get away with it for at least an hour or two, so I'm now at the Bialik, the Bialik, uh, which everyone else will call a shoulder or a call, um, and it's a bit more open than I thought it would be. The mountains are quite far apart and uh, fairly shallow, so I'll grab another bite to eat and uh, make my way up a stub binion. Good. Let's do it. Let's get in the right gear first. Right. This is gonna be good. Wow. Oh, let me put the clutch on. There we go. Yep, <laughs> I'm going to try and stick to the path fully, even if it does mean things are going to be really awkward. That's the way it should be. You could just, oh, go straight down this, oh, there we go. Yeah, like that track there. You could go straight down the hill if you wanted to. Proceed with caution. Uh, 
Right, this isn't going to be fast. I'm definitely going to work on uh, the endos. Lots of little micro endos. So I have been riding the Highlander 2 the last few days and uh, oh, I went the easy way and I've been loving it, absolutely loving it and I did do one mountain on it, Benim and it's super fun, really manoeuvrable and great and stuff like this but see when the speeds get up it cannot handle the the kind of high speed bumps as good as this claymore this thing once speeds get up just absolutely comes into its own it's that extra travel perhaps the Olins as well oh ridiculously capable bike more than i need that's the one That's the two. Oh, that's the three. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Rhymes with four. Lovely. Ooh. <laughs> Gotta go out wide for that one. Ooh. There we go, got some kind of hard base rock there. Ooh. That took a bit of building up too. <laughs> Up and over. So this is a different route. Wait. <laughs> it's a different route to the one I took up. But it is marked oh, on the maps. So it is actually an official route. Mm, doesn't look like much though, does it? Right, ready. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus Christ. Ooh, motherfucker. Very similar, if not worse, than the way I came up. <laughs> there we go, it is. I could see this from the other trail. There we go, yeah. Down there it gets much more established. Ooh. Oh man. Trying to keep traction is <laughs> very, very demanding. <clears throat> Jesus, so close to going over the bars. Oh, traversing, is this a good sign? Not really. Oh, wow. Land just said, nah, I'm not going to hang around. I will switch camera off and get you down there. Yeah, that would not have went. There will, of course, come a point where it will get easier and probably, hopefully, almost all rideable. I don't think we're quite there yet. Hey, this is better. Okay, okay. Oh, 
be a good to fill up it. Yeah. Perfect. First quench head. <sighs> Needed that. <clears throat> Needed that. Wanted to get some water whilst it was as high as possible. There are sheep on the hill, so <laughs> the further down you go, the more chance of there being a carcass or just shite. So it's the highest bit I could get a waterfall at. Nope. Ooh, yeah. Bit better. This is gonna get boggy though, isn't it? Yeah, that bit. Up and up. The Ben Moore burn. Got away with that. There we go. Huh. Yeah, so mine started up there, the way up. I would definitely recommend the way I went up and not the way I went down. But then neither of which is very good. Have you been in? Yeah. Is, is it warm? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm glad you found it. It's a good one. <laughs> That's not that deep. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I ended that the right way with a nice dip in some genuinely pretty warm water, despite what my face might have said. Uh, it was pretty warm, for Scotland anyway. Uh, that hill, uh, great at the top, fantastic views, really rewarding, uh, beautiful mountain, both of them, but no easy way off them. Uh, there's obviously the way I went up, uh, I thought was not worth going back down. The way I went down was even worse than the way I went up. I know that the face of Ben Moore is really bad and most people don't recommend it. And I know that the far side of the ridge is uh, very similar to what I went down there. So yeah, fantastic views, worth a hike, but probably not worth a bike because there's no easy way off. <laughs>